trigger happy and I give less than a fuck. Love me or hate me, I'ma show no rip shit up. It's Mr. Nothing, nice on a mic stand. Mike in the left and the zest in my right hand. I took a puff, had enough now, hold up. If that was in dope, niggas getting rolled up. Yo All right, folks, so this is Acid Roots. So I'm gonna review uh, the Swan Songs Rarities EP. That Hollywood Undead put out in 2010. I would basically have to say this is another batch of nice songs from Hollywood Undead from the Swan Song Sessions, which is uh, basically their first album. And it's the only album that really has the, the, the member that they had a falling out with, Deuce. So this is pretty much the last project of any sort that has Deuce on there also. And it's basically the collective of swan songs, but just songs that didn't make the cut. So really what I'd have to say about that is real, it's pretty relatively brief. You only get three songs on here. It's even shorter than the swan songs B-sides that I reviewed last year. But I would have, I, I'm fairly certain that they probably recorded way more songs because I know that they had songs on their MySpace and stuff like that back in the day. I just wonder some of the songs that didn't make the cut that we could have even heard further because really maybe they just felt like some of these didn't even deserve to have even official release to purchase, but that it's still relatively scant. I felt like it probably could have been like five or six or even seven songs that something like that could have happened, but one song that at least made it, I feel like the best song on this project is, the best song I felt like on this project was The Kids. Deuce has a real nice melodic and sing-songy verse on here, and then it leads to the rest of the group members with their standard rapping, which kicks ass. And I would have to say, I really like the beat on there. It kind of uh, felt like, yeah, The Kids had a real kind of snakish and kind of brooding beat and stuff. It really felt kind of menacing and like a club setting. It's definitely good to have gotten those kinds of vibes. It's, it sounded pretty ahead of its time for 2007 or 2008 when they made that. And then, like, Bitches was kind of the more emphatic. I mean, this, these were the kind of songs I know that Hollywood Undead did. Hollywood Undead did back in their MySpace days. Definitely something. Wasn't too big a fan of the beat on this song. This kind of felt like a real thumping and kind of plodding along kind of song, but it's it's cap it's captivating enough in the sense just based upon the lyrics. I appreciated the lyrics more on Bitches just because it's basically them this going in on the random encounters that they kind of have with females and such and how simple it makes it sound like it, it is for them. And... Um, that's kind of the concept there, just kind of getting that. And Deuce, of course, did the hook every single one of these. So that's kind of the concept as far as that kind of goes. But yeah, I mean, this is really just more of the same in terms of what to expect from like Hollywood Undead with these sorts of things. I really felt like the whole Swan Songs assortment was really like it packed like a lot of punch that Hollywood Undead did at that particular time. And really, just about anything from like the Swan Songs days pretty much has a more spark of an interest just because it kind of had like a particular vibe of the song Undead and songs like Young and Black Dahlia and some of those. I mean, obviously, I need to listen to more Hollywood Undead, but it just feels like that was like a really great debut. It really feels like, feels like that was kind of like... Like the Slim Shady LP that this was pretty much bona fide seen as like a success and 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying, Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. It was just an overall great debut that had a lot of charm to it and uh, an overall appeal that this was very charming. And that just really happened to be the thing. It's just good to kind of see that from like the Swan Songs Collective. Just the fact, and it's just the fact that they had like two EPs just with leftovers from that record, that album recording session just proves how much interest that people had at that around that time. I mean, because really Swan Songs Rarities came out in the spring of 2010 and Swan Songs came out in like summer of 2008. So that was quite a distant way to go with that, carrying the album rollout for such a thing. So that's just kind of the thing there. But I didn't really care as much for Circles. I mean, it was decent. I definitely liked the song and the Hollywood Undead rendition of it's pretty good. But I felt like Deuce's version was just better. I don't know. I mean, it's mainly a preference. If you're a fan of Hollywood Undead, then I think Circles is an easy enough song to go for. But keep in mind that Deuce, when he broke away from Hollywood Undead, he did a version of this song that's on the Call Me Big Deuce mixtape where Deuce kind of lays a rapping verse more so than having the Hollywood Undead cats doing it. So it's either way. There's two versions, but the Deuce version is free. So keep that in mind. And... um 
basically it's just a good assortment. I'm going to give this album, basically, I'll give it a 6 out of 10, just because I really like the kids. If that's truly their first song that they did, that's a dynamite song to start out with. And then Bitches was decent. It's above average. It's not like a song I would always immediately go for, but it's pretty solid. It's it's better than several, I could say. I, I could definitely give it like a B or a B plus in terms of the sheer kind of quality relative to it. And then Circles is just a good song. I definitely like the beat on there. It just has a real kind of hypnotizing and kind of melancholy type beat in the piano or whatever type keys that that is in that song but i just i would have to say i prefer deuce's version better but deuce basically knocks out these choruses it proves that he can do that and these rapping verses are just grand in the sense of them being able to really top this out and kind of have that appeal there's just something about the swan song sessions that just has that kind of appeal like i said as far as that goes but the social score doesn't really get a score is because these were just rarities and they didn't try to promote it that much. And really, you can only buy this project online if you can even get it at all anymore. So when they say rarities, they really mean that. So that's kind of the situation. But it's good to kind of see in the sense of this just being extra kind of curricular stuff for Hollywood Undead. And we need more stuff like this. Definitely, it's always good getting EPs that kick ass because it's always like a shot in the arm in terms of quality there.